But then if you try and move away from the spine crawler, you're gonna you're gonna get bit because spine crawlers only take about nine years to reroot. <laughs> nah, that's true. Maybe I should get a spore crawler since mosquitoes are air units. Yeah, and spore crawlers reroot in like no time at all. Yeah, I know. It's great. Six seconds, man. I'm a big fan of that. They uh, they know where they're coming from. They're like, uh, mm -hmm. they're like, what digs really quickly? What animal besides roaches? What animal digs really? <laughs> Actually, that's a. It's really impressive how overlords and roaches can dig so quickly. Like overlords are just like, okay, I'm just gonna go underground. I'm just weigh like three thousand tons, I'm bigger than buildings. And BTW, oh. you know what I never understood about Starcraft? What? Why can't battle cruisers just land and shoot? Yeah, that would be awesome. Well, like, man, like, what? These giant battle cruisers can't land. Like, so they're just gonna stay up there forever. They should and be able like, to land and like become meat shields. Mhm. Mm be able to take like a billion banelings. Yeah, exactly. At least they'll be good for that. It'll be like twenty ban. I'm not sure actually. How much HP do battle cruisers start out with? Five hundred and fifty, I believe. So, Banelings do, yeah, yeah, a million, I think that's an accurate number. And uh, right now we're just finding out what the next game we're going to stream is. Don't go anywhere, this is the CGSL number two. I actually don't know what the CGSL stands for besides Awesome Tournament of Awesome. It, what, is it, what does it stand for? The... I think it stands for the cool GSL. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Who is okay? So let's. I'm gonna just let's take a quick look at the back at the bracket. Ooh, Wolfenzer, who we just watched, I believe, is a. Let's let's. I'm gonna check out his profile right now. Ah, uh, this is the Wolf Cyber Gaming Starcraft League. Oh. Yeah. Taking a card out of the World Cyber Games, I'm a fan. Mm hmm Wow, so we have Wolfenser in, in, in that just moved on is playing who's in the gold in, in gold league by the way, playing Tiki Wannabe, who is a Grandmaster League. So that should be um It's gonna be fun. It, yeah, it should definitely be an interesting game. Yeah. Yeah, that should uh be fair too. I wish I was playing in this tournament. I think I'd do it pretty well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause like I play against the Grand Masters League player and I'm just like I just do what I do on ladder. Exactly, yeah. Dude, you're supposed to say, what do you do to noob n nerds on ladder? What do you do to nerds on ladder? No, you're, you're supposed to just know it anyway. No, what do you do to nerds on ladder? <sighs> I'm like the guy who bottles soda. I, like, put them inside the soda bubble. I, like, air to make it, like, vacuum it shut so it's airtight. And then I, like, shake it really hard and, like, roll them down a mountainside. And then they, like, pop. And soda goes everywhere. And then I take their ladder points. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's almost what I do. Yeah. Except I just I, I I don't go to a I don't go to a hill. I just like I go to the top of the elevator shaft and just completely drop them. So uh, right now we have TQ wannabe playing from the team TQ, a good team, a couple of grandmasters players on that. Wannabe is pretty known in the North American tourney scene. He kind of shows up at the smaller tournaments, wins them, and then LOLs and does a victory dance. Mm-hmm. Wolfens are not quite as known. He's in Gold League, but uh, this should be entertaining, I think. It should be, uh, yes. What uh, um, is is wanna be a, a a Terran player? He is a Terran player. I hope he's playing Terran. It'd be funny if he was off racing, but uh. Oh, oh, I want to see him go rando. <laughs> he probably probably plays a pretty mean every other race, though. I wouldn't be surprised. That's not always true. I know a guy who is in high high masters. Like he should be in Grand Masters, like Destiny. But, uh, he, uh, he, uh, what's the word? Sucks at any other race but his own. Like, he plays at maybe a Silver League level. Actually, wow. Yeah, so it, it, you can be really good with one race and really bad with other races pretty easily. StarCraft's a very complex game. That it is. Oh, I love it when we hear the countdown in the background. It just makes me so happy. Unless you didn't mean to queue up for ladder or something and just starts and you're like, yeah, darn yeah. it! Or you're playing a custom game and everyone leaves and you're forced to like watch the custom game. 
or like, or you join it, you join it, and and you, uh, yeah, yeah, you you join and everyone leaves, and then but you start, and then you look up, and everyone's gone. And if it's one of those ones that takes a long time to load, that's a pain. Yeah, I know what you mean. And we are here at the CGSL number two in the bottom right hand corner, the Terran hero, TQ wannabe, and the top left hand corner, the pink Zerg. Wolf and Sir. Right now we are having a ZVT on MLG Shakira's plateau. Both players typing good luck, have fun. And we're gonna have fun and have good luck as well, Sandman. That we are. And um Tiki Wannabe, Grandmaster, Wolf and Sir, Gold. If you didn't hear that, so this how I wanna be playing. It's gonna be great experience for Wolf and Sir. Oh yeah, you get a lot of really, you really get to like test the validity of your build order when yeah. you play against a good player like this. You really get to refine it, see where the mistakes are. Replays like this are worth their weight in Gold League, LOL. Can't believe I did that, I need a high five. <laughs> and um, yeah, there. so this is MLG Shakur's. You can tell by the supply depot at the bottom as to disallow wall offs at the bottom of the ramp and um, you cannot sp spawn close position only cross or uh, close by air a lot of people ask me what that supply deep at the bottom is really for like they don't see any walls recently but if you read the team liquid forums you'd see Kiwi Khaki just made a post about his three cannon three pylon ca wall in then to blink stalker rush and he wins like 85 percent of his games where he does that against Zerg very undead. And so you get this supply depot sort of like prevents that from happening. You're not allowed to wall in and put cannons behind it or bunkers. And uh, Wolfens are playing very standard right now. 15 hatch going down. And I'm really curious about what TK Wannabe is going to do. I really expect Terran to wall in at their natural on this map. I love seeing the two racks expand build. Very mm -hmm. safe. But uh, he is getting a gas. There will be some sort of tech on the way. I'm going to expect some sort of Hellion play. We do see that a lot lately against Zerg, especially last night in the GSL. If you guys stood up, stood up, actually GSL on Friday nights is pretty early, so I stood up to like maybe 1 a.m. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd like to see either the Hellions or, I'm surprised no real bunker aggression yet. I mean, he could have really taken advantage of that because he did go hatch first. Yeah, he definitely did, and uh, this crack looks like a butterfly. The one in Tiki's Wannabe's base, if you like, look where Tiki Wannabe's marines are. Right next to it, there's a crack, and it looks just like a butterfly. Oh, it does. Right? It's cool, yeah. I know. Or it looks like a, da like a dagger on its way over. Mm-hmm. And uh, we see the factory on the way right now for Tiki Wannabe. There are a lot of really funny timing pushes you can do on this map. And, uh, whoa! Wolfenser's drones are just sitting there, not doing anything. He did a dr big drone transfer, and he kind of messed up on the micro. And he tried to pull. He tried to pull all his drones to kill Wannabe's uh, SCV. Oh, I love it when that happens. It's always amusing. And got juked way too hard. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. Wolfenser did not like that SCV. He, it owed him money, and he got it back. And uh, TQ Wannabe. Does is making a Hellion right now. It does look like some sort of weird timing pushes on the way. Or Banshees. Banshees would definitely be a viable choice right now. He, he does he have does the double have gas. Double gas yeah. And uh, the Hellion does sort of signify a Banshee aggression. So TQ, we're going to see how good Wolfenser's scouting really is when he sees that Hellion. If he sees it. He's not really pushing out right now. Yeah. And I'm surprised. There's no uh, tech lab going down yet. Oh, now it is. So... A little late. No, no. It, it, I, this is a very interesting push. He's going to get a medevac out really quickly. He might even transition into siege tanks. But with that early medevac, it's going to allow him to do extra drop play early on. Yeah. It's going to let him yeah, do a lot that. of things. He really showcases micromanagement. And when you're playing a level of, of lesser, a, play, a player of lesser skill, rather, you can really exploit their weakness in micromanagement. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he can give Tiki Wannabe a chance to. Uh, Try something out. He he maybe doesn't always get the chance to do when he's say laddering. Wolfenser has a little bit of star sense right now. He actually put his second spine crawler in the mineral line, as if there were hellions coming, even though he has not seen the hellions as of yet. So uh, mm -hmm. some some good star sense by Wolfenser. He is getting that second queen. Good choice. 
Two queens out, yeah. That, that Four queens, queens actually, yeah. Four. Wow, he's he's just blind countering banshees right now. His spore crawler is going down to his main as well. So uh, and, uh, this cloak banshee aggression probably won't do quite as much as uh, Tiki Wannabe thinks he will be. Mm -hmm. And uh, drop going up at the top. I'm actually expecting to see a bunker go down because he does have all these yeah, SCVs. Yeah, got three SCVs there. Nice little elevator play, up and down. Very cute play. I think, wow, he's actually just bypassing the natural entirely. Does Wolfenser see it yet? He has no clue that this attack is coming. Bad overlord placement. Being pumped for oh, wow, yeah. Wolfenser and oh, all of them speed. popping out next to the Hellions. The Hellions roasting them down right now, taking, doing so much damage. The Marines are tanking. The Hellions doing the DPS. Great control right now. And trying to take out those Queens, but wow, those, those Zerglings did actually a number and it's really picked off. Yeah, well, wow. Even And they didn't even have speed either. I guess that's the power of being on the creep there, though. Even without speed, they could well, they get this around there. And uh, But Tiki Wannabe still in Wolfenser's base. And, uh, ooh, that Hellion gets sniped. Tiki Wannabe is doing a good job of picking off what he can, forcing pressure on the Zerg player. He's producing 14 more Zerglings right now. And, uh, I don't know, producing 14 Zerglings is much worse than losing three Marines and Hellions, so... I would Ooh. say that uh, Tiki Wannabe is doing very well this game. Worker count says he is actually ahead off one base, and his second base is going down really soon. And are you, whoa, are you, are you mass yeah, mass yeah, raven. wow, Corbid Reactor on the way. I didn't even know the name of the Energy Raven attack build. Tiki Wannabe showing off some really ridiculous builds right now, <laughs> going from elevator drop into the main to cloak banshee or no he canceled the cloak actually so just one banshee out and now mass raven where is that hunter is that is the hunter no not done yet oh they i hate how they changed the name from the hunter seeker missile to the seeker missile hunter seeker was is a way cooler name i think it was like copyright infringement because you know how you know how halo copied everything from starcraft well hunter seekers are actually units and and uh oh right yeah so I'm thinking they were like, well, I guess we can't copy anything from Star from uh, Halo. So, and uh, right now Wolfens are on the way, and he's gonna see that Banshee, and, and I mean that Raven. I'm wondering how he's gonna react to it. So he is throwing down two more hatcheries, and uh, this is actually a really good response to Mass Raven. Ravens don't really do that much damage straight up. They're really yeah. more of a support unit. When you get Mass Ravens, you're sort of being a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say cheesy or anything, but you're doing definitely a strategy that's out of the ordinary. They don't really, they have that same co sort of Templar aspect to them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, it's the, if, if, you, if you've if you got the micromanagement to uh, pull it off, it's definitely very enjoyable to watch happen. And he does have three starports to pump ban uh, to pump ravens over and over again. I keep saying ban banshees, man, but uh, yeah. they're they're ravens. They're a murder of ravens. They're black and red. Ravens are actually one of the coolest units. Yeah, they are. They look really awesome. And but want to be going for the uh, that Terran building armor as well. So um, no, the, I guess he's the reason he's doing these Terran building armor is it actually upgrades the turrets. Oh. Yeah, so the turns actually do a lot more damage. and Well, not damage, rather. They take a lot more hits. They can take, yeah. And uh, I actually would really like to see him upgrade durable materials. And, I, whoa, I am like a psychic. My mouse is over and everything. And uh, this is such a great upgrade because auto turns end up lasting like three or four game minutes straight. You could actually have it's auto turns in your base, like, sitting there. And then you could get that energy back by the time you get to your opponent's base. And wow, I, I just love Ravens. They're such a cool tactical unit. I don't think people are going to go Tiki mass Ravens in the no. future, but I do think that Ravens are going to be more incorporated against Zerg. TQ going for that double expand as well. And um, I'm su surprised that there's no Seeker Missile yet. Well, uh, you really need a reason to go Seeker Missile. You need to see like a mass mutaball yeah. or a... Seeker Missile is a really cool upgrade, and it's a little bit dangerous overall, because you could actually hurt yourself pretty easily. I, I know yeah. that whenever I go Mass Ravens, I end up losing a lot of my own units to my own Seeker Missiles, and wow, throwing down a lot of turrets right here. That plus two building, oh my god, wow, those, those, those units have so much armor right now. 
because of that upgrade, and they're doing a lot of damage to the mineral line. 